In this video, we're going to explain to you the process of, of setting up and running actual tests. So we're imagining that we're in a cornfield here. And here's a row of stalks and circles on the ground. And one of the things you have to do is you have to clear some space. So if I want to push this imaginary stalk down, I would have to knock down the adjacent row. And those circles with X's represent stalks that we've knocked down in preparation uh, for testing. We'd also maybe knock down some over here and so I'm going to push down this stock and then that one and move down the row. Um, now before we do that we want to, like I said, clear the area and then we want to look at the ear height of the stocks that we're going to be testing and, and take a measurement with a tape measure of what that height is uh, and then we want to adjust the height of the device with a ruler like we've explained in the other videos so that it matches that height. Uh, we'll have to then also enter that number into the device when we start it up. So once all that preparation is done, then we just go ahead and plug in the device with a little battery here. First the little one and then the big one. And then we have to wait a little minute for it to, to pop up the, the um, network. While we're doing that, I can mention to you that if you would like to take this battery, if this is in the way, or if you'd like to, this battery can go inside the housing, as long as it's not rattling around. Um, the original batteries we bought for this device would only last about a half a day, but the new batteries should last all day long on a full charge. So if you'd rather tuck them inside, that might make it a little less um, cumbersome for these uh, cords to catch the leaves. You've connected? Yes. And you entered the plot ID? Yeah, I've entered the plot ID. So after your connection, connecting, then you enter the plot ID, say uh, plot number 27, and then the light will come on. That says it's ready, and I hit enter, and now it blinks, and it asks me to set the height of the device. I'm just going to turn it to 760, and I can hit this little dial button, and then I can reject with red, or confirm with green. Now the test starts automatically and you can either repeat that process that we talked about in the uh, lab testing protocol. Have you got that data? Yeah. Okay and I'm gonna I'm gonna always throw away that first data set. It's just a method for us to confirm that it's working so I discard it and now the test is now the device is ready. So we know that the device is working so I'd set it next to this stock here. My colleague would help to hold the adjacent stock so that there's no interference. I'm going to get ready and once I'm ready, you're ready, I'm going to hit start the test, I'm going to push it over and immediately stop the test. Um, and, and then I can, then it, it asks me, it blinks and it asks us to confirm that the data is good. We're going to say that the data is good and so I just hit the green button to confirm and then the light comes on, it says I'm ready for the next test. And so same process, get ready, hit the button, push it over slowly, hit the button as soon as it breaks, uh, then I just, just repeat from there so I can confirm again and so on and so forth. When we want to, at any point if we move to the next plot, at any point when the test is ready, on the, on the phone you can enter that we're in a new plot number and then the height would stay the same. Oh yes. One thing I have failed to mention is that as we move from one plant to another, we'll want to kick down or destroy these, these other stalks. We don't want it, for example, this stalk to accidentally bump into this stalk that's still there. So if they're, if they're kind of kicked off at ground level, it helps to keep that to a minimum. Um, again, change the plot number when you need, need to a new plot number. And if you need to change the height of the device because you move to a new, a new plot which has a, a quite a different ear height, then you just want to um, turn the device off and restart it and that will let you enter the, the height of the device. And that's all.